Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jake Griggs, Rig Sculpting. We are on part five of our mold making series. We have finished all uh, our, uh, our thick coats. We have finished our mold. Our rubber mold is done. And if we want it to be a successful mold, we're going to have to add something to it called a mother mold. And we talked about that. What we're going to be using, instead of using a plaster shell, which I've done, and a lot of people do, but it will make this sculpture right here huge to deal with. And I don't want to hold that. Um, because when you cast in resin, we're going to have to turn it over and be moving it. And you don't want something bulky and huge because it is hard to deal with. And so what I use and what we're going to use is resin. And I'm not using expensive resin from any mold making company. I'm using what they call fiberglass resin, Bondo fiberglass resin. Now here's a tip, do not buy this from an automotive store. Buy it from your local Walmart in the automotive section. It's like $37. It comes with two of these liquid hardeners by extras. And they hang up right above it. And then you need to buy uh, these fiberglass sheets. They're five, six dollars. It's a big pack. It's a big fold up. And you want to cut these fiberglass sheets up into small pieces like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the hardener. The instructions, it, it gives some weird like 10 drops to every quarter ounce or something goofy crap like that. You're gonna just, you'll just learn to eyeball it. You squirt it in there and just give it a good liberal squirt. Mix the crap out of it. Uh, work real hard on mixing it. And you've got, you know, you've got about, if you put too much, you'll only have like five to 10 minutes. Um, the one thing is this stuff stinks to high heaven. Don't even think about bringing a sculpture anywhere near the house when you're working with this stuff. It stinks and you don't want to mess with it in, in a closed area. It'll make you pass out. One time I had a brilliant idea of making this in my house um, and it stunk our house, our furniture up. My wife was pissed. It was horrible. Um, and it stunk our house up for three or four days. So learn from my dumb mistakes. Don't do that. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to add the hardener. Okay, we're going to add it, mix it all up. Um, and then we're going to add a layer with a brush. We're going to add a layer of it on there. And we're going to start adding, we're going to add our fiberglass to it. And we're going to just poke it on there with the brush. If I can get it off. We'll, you'll poke it on there with the brush. And, and you will work, we'll work this and there'll be multiple layers. And once we get a, a bunch of the fiberglass on there, we're going to add a, a, a filler. And I use this stuff called poly filler. It's a ginormous mess too. But you just take a big old handful of that stuff and throw it in the resin, mix it up, and it turns it into a gel paste. Thickens it like icing. And we'll use that especially um, on our edges because our edges are where our bolts are going to go. So uh, stick with me, and when you come back, we're gonna, I'm going to go over the process with you, and we're going to do it step by step. I'm going to show you exactly um, how I work, and I'm going to mix this up, and when you, when you come back, we'll be ready to add um, all of our fiberglass sheets. Thanks guys. Hey guys, welcome back. We are gonna go ahead and uh, add our hardener. Um, we're gonna add our hardener to it. We're gonna get to mixing. And we're gonna start applying this to our coat of it, just kinda all over. And then we'll start sticking our fiberglass to it. And it's a little tricky. You know, this didn't just work out real smooth and beautiful. <laughs> it, takes, it gets real sticky. It gets real nasty real quick, but I'm telling you, using a fiberglass shell for big stuff is really awesome. It's real helpful. And we're just going to add this just like this, just like we did the, uh, just like we did the, uh, the silicone. Sorry guys, when, I, uh, when I'm focused in on something, I kind of repeat myself. But we're just going to keep adding this on here. And we just don't want to waste this product. And this stuff, this kind of resin, you don't have as much working time as you do with um, with the silicone. So you kind of have to you kind of have to light a fire a little bit and get after it because it'll start gelling up on you. And it's really expensive stuff, and you don't you just don't want to waste it. 
And so let's just kind of use that right there, and I'll go ahead and show you. We'll take, we'll take some of our pieces and just kind of set them in there. We'll take the brush, and we'll just kind of set them down, and we'll kind of work it like that. And you just have a bunch of them kind of ready, and you just add it to it, and it, you know, it looks, and it's really messy, really sticky, and very time-consuming. Um, but you, you don't have a lot of do-overs on this, so you, you, you kind of have to just work it. And, it, you know, you'll know when you have enough, because you'll start building up a thick shell on this. Um, and you don't want to go chinchy and go cheap again on your mother mold, because it will suck when you take everything apart and your mother mold falls apart. It's happened to me. And it's very frustrating, and, there, and there's really no way around fixing the problem. And so this is what you do. This is kind of my process. This is kind of, you know, and you just add, and then we'll go back with our, with our gel. We'll go back and add our filler and make it pasty, and we'll just fill all that in. And it'll make a really, really hard and awesome shell. We're getting real close, guys, getting done. This thing's going to be awesome when we're done. When, when we're done with all these videos, you are going to have gone from the very beginning of a mold making process to the very end. And I'm even going to teach you how to paint it and even show you how to make a sculpture look like bronze. Here, real quick, here, here's a couple that I'm doing. And this is actually, um, this is a cold patina. And it looks like a bronze. You know, there's some tricks and some tips. I'm not even done with those yet, but there's some tricks and tips. And I'm going to show you everything I know to help you be a better artist, a better sculptor. And I'm happy and it brings me pleasure to, to help you guys out and to help you learn. So when y'all come back, we're, we're going to add our second layer and, uh, and it is gonna be uh, quite a feat when we start adding our thick layers to this. It's gonna be quite, quite something. So join me, thanks for following me, like my page, subscribe to my channel. Um, and I really, I really look forward to your comments, your questions. Um, and if you, have, you need help of any, in any kind, please, Send me a message. I will help you to the best of my ability. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back to our mold making series. We're working on our mother mold. I've already gotten a couple layers on our mother mold, and I've been using fiberglass sheets. We've talked about kind of where I got all the products from. And I wanted to make a couple tips real quick when you're applying these sheets. Um, and you're and you're and you're gonna find that it's a real sticky mess. When you do it, you want to dab. Don't try to brush these sheets because it'll pull the resin out everywhere. So you dab. And and if you're working on a figure that gravity's working against it, you're gonna may have to maybe get like a couple push pins and push pin them in there. Uh, they'll start sinking to the bottom. So, but on this particular uh, video, we're gonna go ahead and add our thickener. And I told you about this, I use this stuff called Polyfill, and it is a resin thickener. There are other products out there you can buy, I just use this one because I bought it and it goes a long way. And it's a lot like, it's a lot like powder, come here, I'll show it to you. There's, it's a lot like powder, and it is a mess. And so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add our catalyst agent, I've got a little couple, couple used bottles here. I'm just going to pour it in there. I'm going to add a tiny bit more. And we're going to mix it. We're going to mix our resin. And you keep, you keep mixing it. And then once you've got it mixed good and thorough, and you just want to mix it like a crazy man. You know, you just keep going and going and going until your arms hurt. And you'll mix and mix. And if you notice, the, the figure it looks pretty stinking ugly. And so I'm not generally trying to enter into a mold making uh, beauty contest, but it'll get the job done. You're welcome to make it real beautiful, but when you're dealing with resin, it's difficult to make things look real, real pretty. And, but we'll go back later and with a die caster um, and, or some air pneumatic tools and we'll, we'll grind down some of the sharp edges because it'll cut you if you're not careful. So I got this mixed. I'm going to set this to the side. 
and I'm gonna take me a big old handful, and, and I'm just gonna dump it in there, just like a, it's it's almost kind of like a convention a convectional sugar. It's just a mess. It's like powdered sugar. And we're gonna mix it. And if you'll see, if you'll look what it what it starts looking like. It'll start kind of gelling up, and that's good. I mean, it just looks disgusting. Like, look at that, it's nasty. And it'll get thicker and thicker the more you add. And I don't want it real runny. Um, I want it thick because I want it to kind of plop on some areas. And so what we need to pay attention to is we need to start focusing on our mother mold is our seam. Because on the edges is where we're going to put our bolts. And that's where we need to start really focusing on thickening up a little bit. Because when we put our pieces together, we need some tight, thick spots. Um, everything's going to need another little coat, but our outsides, you don't want the outsides thin whatsoever. You want them thick and heavy so your bolts can fit in and they don't, won't break later. And so I'm going to add this to it. I'm going to start applying this to some of the, the, the parts on the bottom, some of these thick sides, and I'm going to work on that. And then uh, when y'all come back on our next video, um, this... This thing is going to be pretty close to being done, and we're going to we're going to start working on the back side, and we're going to start over. But you, when you're when you're working on this mother mold, <coughs> your mind's going to be thinking about costs, right? You're going to be thinking, oh man, this thing's almost forty dollars. Oh, I, don't, I want to go. And if you go cheap, you're going to regret it. Trust me. I always think, and I always try to find a way to go cheap on them and I always regret it. So it's probably gonna take maybe one and a half or two of these to make a really awesome mold. And let me say this, you can use a plaster mold if you want. It is cheaper, significantly cheaper. You can use a plaster mold, you can use fillers, um, you can use hemp, and, and that'll work too. It'll be thicker and it'll be tremendously cheaper. And let me tell you one, two more tips that I forgot, is on these cards that I use, Unless you want cards to be part of your mother mold, make sure you put petroleum jelly. Petroleum jelly or va uh, Vaseline jelly on the cards. If not, this will stick to the cards and you'll have those cards part of your mold and it'll be a nightmare to get them off. And the other thing I didn't mention when we're making these molds, this was a big deal. Before you even start your mold, you need to make sure your clay is sold for free. I should have said that on video one and I forgot. Sulfur free clay, are, all of this will not happen. It'll ruin, it'll ruin the, the chemical reaction with the silicone. So I just make that mention. Uh, when y'all come back, we're gonna have all of this big thick stuff uh, filled in and it's gonna be, we're gonna be done. And we're gonna take off the back and we're gonna start working on the other side. So guys, thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate you guys, these videos. Um, I love doing them for you. I, I love working and teaching y'all and showing you how to do it. If you have any questions of any kind, uh, send me a message. I'll help you uh, make your mold. I'll help you any way I can. Thank you, guys.